Hello. Today we're going to feature the Remington Model 51 field strip procedure. This handgun was the last handgun made by Remington and was a design that was created for them by John D. Peterson. You'll notice that it looks very similar to the other handguns in the videos that I've previously featured. But it does have some differences. Mainly being John Peterson put a inertial type locking breech mechanism in this handgun as opposed to a straight blowback action that makes it slightly softer shooting. It also makes it a little bit more difficult to field strip. You will need uh, a few tools for this gun to field strip it. One being a pin punch, another being a, a pry tool. I use a pin punch and pry tool that are made out of Delrin plastic which is a heavy dense plastic. It's non-marring and you can't mess up the firearm by using these tools. You'll also need a pair of needle nose pliers to facilitate placing the firing pin and the spring back in the breech. So let's get started. This is an internally hammer fired handgun and like the other handguns that we've shown if you have an internal hammer you want to start your field strip procedure with the weapon cocked. If you have a striker fired weapon you'll want to start with the weapon uncocked. So what we'll do here is go ahead and make sure it's clear. No cartridges in there cock the action. Next step we'll remove the magazine. The next step is a bit more involved. I have big hands. This is a small handgun and I don't want to block up the view so I'll describe it first and if I do block the view at least you'll understand what I am doing during the procedure. There's a takedown or a cross pin located on the, the frame of the handgun and there is a notch in the bottom of the slide here. These two need to be lined up to facilitate beginning the, uh, the decock. On the Remington you'll notice that it has a, a maggot or a grip safety here. This grip safety has to be depressed or the slide will not retract. So depress your grip safety, retract the slide until the notch in the, in the slide lines up with the takedown pin. Now if it's necessary you can use your pin punch to start that pin out from the other side and then you can use your scraper to reach up underneath of it pry it up till it comes loose and then pull it completely away set that down somewhere where you won't lose it let it go forward on the, the slide now you'll need to retract the slide again for the next step which is to pull it back about oh, an eighth of an inch or so then pull forward on the barrel and the barrel in the slide assembly will move off the gun and free itself from the frame. You'll notice that uh, the internal hammer on this gun and this little cutout here is for the inertial lock, the inertial breech lock. Now, these handguns, the barrel assembly is press fit, it has a bushing on here that is press fit in place. They can be removed. It's not recommended that the average user do so. Um, it's very difficult to get the, the barrel assembly and the spring and the bushing back into place. It requires a jig to do so mounted onto a vise. All you really need is, is to, uh, when the barrel's all the way back and centered, pull the barrel forward, rotate it. If you're looking down the barrel, you'll be rotating it actually clockwise. There's a little notch here on the slide that the lug of the barrel will fall into place on and that will pull the barrel away from the breech block. Now to get the breech block assembly out, you need to push down and back. Use your little pry tool again to reach down into that area and pull up. up and free. Let it come forward on the firing pin spring. Tilt the slide assembly muzzle down onto your mat. Lift up on the breech block and pull it away. And your firing pin and your spring, use your pry tool, along with 
come free and fall down the barrel. This one's not allowed to come free. There we go. Those will just fall down the barrel. Again, you want to set them aside. This is one of the drawbacks to some of these handguns. They use extremely small parts that are easy to lose. Uh, you want to make sure that you have somewhere that you can put them that they're safe and they're not going to fall on the floor, fly across the room and get lost. Okay, this is your breech block assembly with the extractor in place. For lubricating, and uh, once you've cleaned these guns, I recommend a combination of, of a little grease and silicone uh, oil. Okay, because this barrel doesn't come out, I normally use cleaning rods, but this would have to be cleaned from the muzzle. I don't like using a cleaning rod on a muzzle. I, I think it tends to wear on the muzzle, create adverse effect on the accuracy of the weapon. For these particular types of handguns, I like to use what's called a bore snake, which is a pull-through cleaner. And it can actually work from the rear of the gun instead of the, the uh, muzzle end of the gun. All right, reassembling this firearm. First step that you're going to do, lubricate the back of this firing pin. Okay. Take your firing pin. You'll see the firing pin channel. That's what we're going to do. Just grease off the finger. Okay, I'm going to slip this down the barrel. Then we're going to use our needle nose pliers to guide the firing pin back into the firing pin channel. And once it's in there, we're going to want to guide it. far back as we can. Alright, now that we have our firing pin set all the way back, firing pin spring will be set back enough for clearance for the breech block. Take the breech block, set it down in front of the firing pin spring, and then push down and back, and it'll just click itself right into place. Very simple. Rotate the breech down and uh, make sure it comes in contact with the extractor. Sets all the way back. And then to assemble the firearm, set the slide onto the frame rails. Push straight back until the slide comes in contact with the trigger bar. At this point, you'll want to depress the grip safety, pull the trigger, press down on the, the uh, trigger bar, and then continue pulling the slide to the rear. Next, depress your grip safety again. Line up your cross pin holes on the slide in the frame, and you'll want to install your firing or your uh, cross latch pin with a little cutout facing the top and the wider half dome facing the bottom. Insert that into the hole. Make sure everything's lined up. Press down. Let the slide go forward. Insert your magazine. Depress your grip safety. Check for function. Good to go. Thank you for watching.